Hello everyone. My name is Datta Sheth and I welcome you to this interview conversation with Dr. Nehal Shah. We at Shwetsai Consultants try to invite guests to write a blog for us or convince them to interview with us. These are phenomenal people who go beyond their regular task at work or try to do something startlingly different which is for the betterment of our society. Today we have one such guest with us and to very briefly introduce her Dr Nehal Shah is an assistant professor in the biotechnology department at Sri Ramakrishna Institute of Computer Education and Applied Sciences since last 9 years her keen interest in women's health and her doctorate research on premenstrual syndrome led her to start a website rutuja which is now in the process of being converted to a ngo she believes in holistic approach towards health and spiritual healing practices today she is here to talk to me about her website rutuja so without wasting any more time i would like to welcome her hi nehal hello datta thank you so much for accepting my invitation thank you thank you same here <laughs> So firstly congratulations on this remarkable achievement of going from a website to NGO and tell us something about your journey with Rutuja when and how did it all begin uh, it got incepted uh, during 2009 uh, that is when i started my phd uh, as a part of suggestion from mphil examiner that this kind of topic should reach to each house so we came out with this idea to have a website and it got inaugurated in 2011 so that's how the whole website and the the research work was put on to the site for awareness and education purpose for people yeah, it's been a it's been quite a decade of journey then with rutuja yeah it's it's been quite long uh, time right. and it has been like revised uh, almost 3 to 4 times uh, looking to the innovations in technology as well okay okay so i uh, i visited your website and as i understand you sh- like reach out to women either through sharing experiences writing blogs but has it ever happened that women like looking at your website uh, found some information and wanted to talk to you about the troubles that they go through premenstrual syndrome like how do you help them out uh, actually in the website i have kept self help uh, no one one of the parts of the website is self help so okay. if they have any doubts or whether they are going through this kind of premenstrual issue they themselves can check it so that was what my research about that what should be uh, the way out to help one's own self and uh, that is already there but still uh, if they are in need of somewhere uh, help they can reach me out we have a section wherein they can write emails and they can send it to us and we can definitely go back to them and help it out and many of them they are using uh, the you uh, know available uh, checklist forms with the help of which they check their symptoms and they come to know that whether they are suffering from premenstrual syndrome or not right. and later on if they want to comment they comment which also reaches that's us if they provide their email ids we go back to them you can go and, uh, and uh, provide them, right? and we have uh, given lot of uh, basic information onto the site so that can be easily you uh, know read and that that can be easily understood with respect to the syndrome okay okay so um like do you have a team or do you have volunteers working for you i you have a full time job so how, how do you manage all this no presently i cannot afford to have any uh, no paid uh, workers in the team so it's already taking lot of money input because uh, i got this created with the help of professional people and i have a team to look after the technical aspects of the so who looks site. after your website uh, yeah so okay. when i wanted to convert it to make it mobile friendly, friendly uh, obviously you require some technical aspect because that's not my area so i have people like jagdish bhai parmar from brainy and tejas bhai mehta who looks into the technical thing uh, the you uh, know background aspects of designing of this website but the whole idea and the information input is from my level and i do not have presently anybody taking care of it i do it myself all along the journey so like you have to 
uh, when women reach out to you, you have to personally go and you yeah, know, nobody look, nobody volunteering or a team. No, there is no team uh, looking after it because I handle the complete social media aspect related to the site so that it reaches out maximum people every day. I check the you no know, uh, admin part of my website and okay. see how many of them they have given out some queries. So it takes a lot of time, yes, and lot of effort, and lot yeah, of lot energy, of time yeah. goes in. Right. So, um, do you have any current research work going on at Rutuja? Uh, presently, I am uh, trying to focus on uh, what sort of uh, changes might the lady members have felt during this COVID-19 times. So, I am like doing a background preparation. It will soon come on the website. And also, we are doing little more awareness things. Like, we there were a lot of domestic violence issues. Uh, the number raised a lot during pandemic. So, uh, to make people aware aware about the abuses that female members are facing to come you no know, provide them a platform that they come out with uh, this kind of things you uh, know and share their personal experience stories so that has been another facet of the whole site so we okay. organize those kind of small uh, you no know, things wherein people can write their stories and if they are really appreciable we put them onto the site so that others get the courage to share themselves and that's how the awareness spreads. So, Rutuja is not just about premenstrual syndrome. It is like uh, concerning all aspects of women's Yeah, health. presently it has reached to that level. It, it started with premenstrual syndrome, no doubt. Uh, that it still works on it but that's not the only facet uh, it is coming up with lot of holistic aspect with reference to physical mental and social issues of female now okay, so that's okay. how the the approach is getting broader you're widening the yeah, exactly, uh, work exactly. Areas for yeah Rutusha. that's that's really nice so um, can you tell i mean just to focus more on your original doctorate research which is premenstrual syndrome can you tell something to our viewers that they can practice like about mental health care especially during this time uh, yes uh, premenstrual syndrome is basically a phase that every woman experiences uh, pre before they step into the periods and that is going very unnoticed especially as per my observation in india very less people uh, understand and are aware of premenstrual aspects uh, now uh, the youngsters are coming up popularly with this PMS terms but they do not understand what exactly happened into it and there is a severe form as well that's known as premenstrual diasporic disorder wherein the ladies go very violent uh, in, during the you know, uh, this premenstrual times and uh, they, are, they are facing more mental issues like depression, getting nervous, having cry spells, getting extremely angry, irritated, they beat their children a lot. Uh, they might be uh, becoming uh, no physically violent in terms of uh, living with their family members so that that is what the research was all about i worked on uh, more than 1000 female members uh, in uh, surat ahmedabad gandhinagar zones and uh, the research went on in many of the cases for around 3 to 4 years continuously i was following a respondent for 3 3 4 4 years now for each of their uh, you no know, menstrual cycle so that's how i came to, to understand, understand that right. this phase needs to be addressed and the only solution is that you need to be more educated and get more aware about this phase because then you you are aware then you know that this is happening because of pms it will soon go once your period strike so that has also to be understood by their husbands, by their family members, because they are the ones who directly so face can, the can tantrums. Can do something to lessen this syndrome? There are lots of things depending on the symptom uh, that they are suffering because uh, there are more than 95 symptoms being listed out. That includes physical, behavioral, mental symptoms. And, and it's not necessary. It's so tricky. It's not necessary. Each lady will show you each symptom every time or even in every cycle their symptoms might change so it's better to have get you know educated 
oneself own by undertaking a lot of good study you just go through the articles and understand your cycles better and make your family members also understand this so it's good if they make the exactly i uh, i had one case wherein uh, no one of the for their situation uh, exactly one of the you no know, couple uh, they were about to have a divorce but then uh, there uh, no lawyer could understand that this lady is getting angry only during this phase so it's like don't run away don't uh, yeah run away. and something somehow can be done about that this. that could they, that could stop actually they did not go for a divorce That's, so that uh, was amazing to know and this is a real story this uh, this is what i came across during my 8 years long research that this is how you can prevent something to happen okay okay all right so um so how has rutuja changed you has it have you grow i mean how have you grown as a woman with rutuja or has it brought any personal life changes uh, yeah i think it's very much related to me with you no know, all the time because i myself was suffering from lot of pms and that's how i wanted to work on it so i started with it i started understanding uh, women psychology more and uh, because when when i was working uh, during that time i realized it's more a psychological issue than a physical symptom alone so i grew that way and my science and my work also grew along with it so i now can say i understand the tantrums of females little more and you know why it's so happening essentially not it has not only helped you grow as a woman but also help your career and research yeah and uh, i think it makes you more brave and courageous to talk about your periods because still in many regions of india it's not that easy to come out and talk about your periods so right. I, i think that requires lot of courage so um i read that you believe in spiritual healing practices so what what is spiritual healing is it to do with yoga or any other uh, practice that you follow and is are those practices relevant to pms or they are just just for the mental health of uh, no i women? think uh, presently even today uh, you will not find a single therapy working for as a cure against pms we we don't have any cure actually against any of the symptoms it's a symptomatic cure so if you have a headache you can just pop up a pill and maybe your headache is gone temporary but there is no permanent solution to pms presently available in science so going towards holistic healing and spirituality was only one way to find out the root causes uh, why this is happening at mental level particularly at mental level because in my research i found there is lot of irritation anger uh, which is coming on floor during this time so anger is always something which is deeply present within you at some point of time so i think that can only be tackled with yoga and lot of holistic approaches rather than just allopathic medicines and that's how i i take a whole sum so Uh, even meditation helps even yoga helps even acupressure helps looking and going into the herbs can help you you have to check it out and that's all the website is about that so we are trying to bring experts so who can so it's not just one thing that you yeah you know. need to have a wholesome approach towards your health and if if something really clicks maybe you are out of that phase so that's how you have to keep on trying and checking okay so i guess that that brings us to your website rutuja so if you can tell our viewers you know you can walk us through your website what links are in there what does it have and you know how to write to you how they can reach out to you or if you can just give us the overview of your website to the viewers and it would be yeah, really beneficial yeah. uh, rutuja is rutuja.org and now we are also available on instagram as rutuja women we are also there on uh, facebook as rutuja shah so we are there on twitter with the same rutuja women uh, label uh, on website uh, the, the name itself tells you that it's related to menstruation because rutuja comes from rutustrav 
so that was that's a sanskrit word and it's traditionally and in scriptures it's been used as rutustrav so from there i have taken up this small word rutuja and um, it has eight good sections and in one section it's going to talk about female body what exactly this you uh, know menstrual disorders are what are the symptoms there is going to be one more section wherein you can find out online forms so it takes only 2 minutes to just go through those uh, symptoms and tick them out and you get instant answer that you suffer from mild moderate or severe oh, symptoms so you can self uh, diagnose yeah you can do your... self analysis of yourself whether okay. you are suffering from pms or not there are uh, sections for doctors teachers as well you can even download the forms and just you know do it with somebody who is in need of so i have kept everything open my thesis is also available on the website if somebody some researcher wants to use it they are most welcome to use the thesis and do more research on this topic especially in india and uh, there is one section about good reading books relevant to the topic and also the research papers which i had been publishing with respect to this uh, work plus uh, we invite articles from experts so there are articles of doctors there are articles of some holistic practitioners like acupressure people who have been writing for uh, no my site to tell that uh, what can you do in case of pms so you get lot of help from the website and a special section for all the you know readers of the website if they want to really share something then uh, we put their stories also on the website so that's that's very innovative which has come up and blogs are always there for the overall uh, you know topics related to women yeah. social health and lifestyle and the so physical they are and mental blogs. exactly so uh, there is a good section of blogs wherein we do uh, now i have started doing a uh, work with reference to awareness with respect to other areas of women's health and life also so those things you can read it out comment uh, email is already uh, provided so you can always contact so through that so they have like there is an email there is a there is a, a, a particular section wherein they can write it down and it reaches it to reaches me it reaches okay. so we have that sort of availability and you can always obviously so contact through I, facebook and insta so if anybody has a problem say i have a problem i can just write down yeah you and it's and not and seen on the site if you write to me it's only it's visible personal, to me it's, it's yeah it just, just reaches okay. me and if you if because many of the people they are very hesitant they don't right. provide they don't their, want to share it and exactly and, and they don't want to provide any of their uh, no email ids or something so it's very difficult to go back to them so if you are really keen we go back and i can reply back and give you more stuff and the in genuine cases like i had researchers who were contacting me through the website because they wanted to do some research using my research so i used to provide them material through okay. this and that's how they can contact yeah usually people are hesitant to talk about the i mean they may be open to talking about pms in general or periods in general but when it comes to their personal health usually it's people very difficult are, uh, not that comfortable talking about their own health problems no it's it's really yeah. very difficult to come out with uh, maybe basically many don't understand also that what is going on with them so it, it you have to read the side they may not even know that it is because of the pms exactly that this is the, uh, there is there is very little clarity about pms and pmdd particularly pmdd in india and uh, those who are really suffering from violent uh, no episodes i would request them that you should visit the site and have more understanding about yourself so that will generate us a kind of you know awareness with you and you will start looking at your cycle in a different way and that is what is important once you know what's happening then maybe you get the help on your own you 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 can find out ways to calm your exactly then there is a lot of help available once you know that this is happening because of this but you have to understand what the root and cause and this is also um, it's open to like male because many a times the females are not able to explain the male members they so won't understand that they are going through this situation and it's very difficult uh, unknowingly worsen the uh, and children are suffering more uh, husbands because they are the first one to have a direct contact with female members so they there is lot of then verbal abuse between the two during this phase so if even the male members of the family they understand uh, what exactly they are suffering uh, they can help each other they would be able yeah, at least they would uh, if one is getting angry the other may calm down for Surely. that period at least you can pinpoint that it's because of this you be be alert right. you know that's that's true. so uh, 
how do you see rituja growing what's the long term vision for rituja actually there wasn't any plan of undergoing a, an, an ngo or something uh, because it's really taking hard times on the money part to continue a, a site for such long time for awareness so i was advised by one of the person uh, that why don't you, you know when you are doing so much activities uh, related to women why don't you do it on your a, a platform so it clicked me and that's how i thought that it shouldn't remain just concise to a website but it should grow as an ngo and it's in a process a uh, legal process to start, start as, as an, an ngo idea. and because now i want to work as an ngo i want to work on in each area related to women health education empowerment so it it has to be a wholesome you just can't take one facet of the women and go on right. it has you cannot, to be you want to not res- limited to just pms but yeah take a holistic, a holistic approach, approach and uh, definitely the health aspect remains the major core area but then education is also important making them self independent is equally important and making them you uh, know understand their own powers and their own you uh, know shaktis that's also equally important so it, it it's going to be a holistic approach in the future to go on with this so any organ any similar organizations you are planning to work in tandem with or no uh, basically uh, presently not it's just in the beginning so i'm just taking baby steps right now so uh, not not very clear cut idea how it's going to structure out in the future but people are approaching when they see the work when they see the blogs and the kind of awareness coming on social any media any local uh, organizations uh, local organizations as well as i get some approaches from rajasthan and those kind of thing because uh, i haven't started the field work yet with respect okay. to the ngo but i am working uh, from you uh, know uh, from the platform of social media presently so uh, there are uh, ngos who who want to approach from that angle uh, go for a public speaking or go for uh, awareness competitions related create to create awareness programs yeah, related right. to uh, the you know using the social platforms so they are approaching from rajasthan and those kind of areas and i'm making friends eventually and it's going it's on it's the area that you're working at it, it's hard to break in so very hard actually uh, there is no funding coming from something like pms so if i want to say that i want to have an awareness program on only premenstrual syndrome nobody is going to you know understand what's that it, it doesn't mean anything uh, i during my research many doctors they say it's just a phase it's not to be addressed but it's it's worsening day by day and and then it extends and then the patient lends into depression for a permanent scale right. so no, but if if it's a if it's cyclic as in if it's going to happen every month then yeah, it becomes a very serious issue it's it's a serious issue but it's not addressed that easily in india and uh, that's how people like what's this pms why you want to work on this you work on you know you will find lot of ngos working on menstrual hygiene because there are people oh, there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of talk and, about menstrual hygiene yeah a lot of menstrual hygiene work is going on but then what about the mental health related to mens menses nobody It's talks tricky. about it nobody that. turns up <laughs> okay. uh that that's, that's just great work you're doing any uh, message for our viewers anything um, you you want to tell them i just i just wish that uh, you be more encouraging uh, to our website keep visiting uh, no keep visiting our blogs write the comments and let us know if there is any improvement required we are always trying to be better uh, try to see women you uh, know as a different entity uh, as an individual entity and uh, uh, try to go within her uh, you know mental capacities at the same time mental issues because that's hardly addressed uh, in terms of uh, females particularly in indian background so i i am talking with reference to especially those sitting in the house uh, of the villages they are they are hardly addressed what what's their need in terms of uh, no their mental health or how they are taking life uh, no when i did my research uh, most of the females they said i am satisfied with the life and that's totally wrong it was a wrong answer which i was knowing when you ask them they are like baddu barabar che everything is fine कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है पर एक्चुअली दे आर सफरिंग इन टू लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम एंड वी नीड टू मेक देम अवेयर वेयर दे आर गेटिंग नो दैट हिंच एंड इफ यू कैन जस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट अ लिटल टू देयर लाइफ मेकिंग देयर लाइफ मोर क्वालिटी 
I think the work will be you no know, accumulating much better, and it comes out uh, as a wholesome for the society because the ultimate reflection is from a mother. So if the mothers are healthy and feeling good, the child feels better, and if mother child feels better, definitely husbands get benefited, and then the society gets benefited. So you cannot neglect the role played by females all over the world. Thank you, thank you so much, Nehal. And uh, before we wind up, I have a small gift for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we wish you. Gifts are always welcome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We wish you all the very best and uh, I hope Rutuja succeeds beyond limits and thank you to all of you for listening to this conversation and as Dr. Nehal said, you can visit the website and you will find a way to write to her if you have any, any problems. You can directly approach her. Those messages won't be displayed on the website without your consent and she'll be more than happy to respond to you personally. So um, I'll just share the email. It's rutujawomen at the rate gmail.com and the website is rutuja.org. Uh, Instagram page is rutujawomen. So you can always find us over there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much what you can do. And thanks a lot. And uh, for now, it's bye. And we hope you are benefited from this conversation. And please do not hesitate to reach out to Rutuja at any point of time. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you.